Industry Day at the Range at SHOT Show is one of my favorite events of the year. Welcome to Ghost Tactical, and today we're going to give you our top five list of guns we cannot wait to shoot at Range Day 2022. Coming in at number five on our list is a Springfield Armory SA-35. Based on one of the most prolific and popular pistols in small arms history, the Springfield Armory SA-35 gives today's shooters a modern take on a revered classic. Featuring subtle but significant upgrades to John Moses Browning's original P-35, the 9mm SA-35 features the appeal of the wood and steel era while offering the upgraded enhancements of today's defensive pistols. Let's take a look at some of the specs. It is chambered in 9mm with a 4.7 inch barrel. The total length is 7.8 inches and the unloaded weight is 31.5 ounces. Now everyone loves the original P-35 and I cannot wait to get my hands on this one to see if it holds up. Coming in at number four on the list is a Smith & Wesson MMP-12 shotgun. The MMP-12 shotgun is built on a reliable pump action platform with two independent magazine tubes designed to maximize shell capacity. The barrel length is 19 inches with an overall length of 27.8 inches and the length of pull is 14 and a half inches. Now we have heard that back a few months ago they've had some issues with these barrels maybe cracking. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I love the way it looks and I want to see if they fixed it and if they have this could be an awesome, awesome shotgun. Coming in at number three on the list is Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 in 10mm. Designed to shoot bigger, faster, flatter, and farther, whether for hunting, self-defense, or on the range, the M&P 10mm delivers exactly what you need. It is chambered in 10mm auto with a capacity of 15 plus 1. The barrel length is 4.6 inches with an overall length of 7.9 inches with an unloaded weight of 29.3 ounces. Now everyone knows I'm a big fan of the MMP line of handguns and when it comes out with 10 millimeter, you damn right I'm excited about that. I can't wait to get my hands on this one on the range and see if it's as good as I think it's going to be. Coming in at number two is the Savage Stance. Introducing the Stance, the first in an all new line of handguns from Savage. Built to deliver the kind of modern performance and American strength Savage is renowned for. The Stance refines the Micro 9 into a thin, easily concealable pistol, built to be both functional in the hand as it is easy to conceal. It is chambered in 9mm and it's a single stack with a capacity of 8 plus 1. The barrel length is 3.2 inches with the overall length is 6.2 inches and the unloaded weight is 1.4 pounds. It's been a long time since Savage has come out with a handgun. I love Savage products, so I'm looking forward to seeing if this is good as it looks. It looks like a great handgun and I'm really wanting to get my hands on it, so I cannot wait to shoot this bad boy. Before we unveil our number one pick, we remind you to click that subscribe button and click the notification bell You'll receive notifications anytime we get a new video that released. And now back to the countdown. And coming in at number one on our list is the Springfield Armory 1911 Ronin 10 millimeter. The Ronin 1911 provides shooters with a pistol that combines classic styling with modern features, the result of thoroughly modern precision manufacturing mixed with a traditional approach to quality and performance. Configured as a full-size 5-inch gun, the 8 plus 1 Ronin and 10mm features a forged steel slide and frame as well as a hammer forged barrel for unparalleled durability and strength. Ideal for pistol harnessing the impressive power of the ever popular 10 millimeter cartridge. Now most of you know that I do not own a 1911 and I've really been looking forward to getting one. I know this gun is not new for 2022, it came out a couple years ago. But when I first saw it I said that is the, one of the most beautiful guns I've ever seen. So this very well could be my very first 1911, especially in 10 millimeter, and I'm looking forward to get my hands on to make that final decision. Well, now that we know that you've subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell, what we're asking you to do now is to hit that thumbs up button or the thumbs down button. But you know what? We honestly prefer the thumbs up button. After that, come down below here and make sure you leave us a comment. 
We love hearing your feedback and we love to hear what you think about the video. Are you in the mood for some more awesome two-way content? Then make sure you check out our website, ghosttacticalproductions.com, and check us out on all of our social media platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified about our latest videos. Till next time, Simplify.